Hey everybody, it's Rosa and today's video is going to be on how to use essential oils in the shower. I know a lot of people do baths and things like that and they use essential oils and bath bombs and all that stuff, but I personally can't take um, baths. My body doesn't work well with baths for some reason, so I'm a shower person. By the way, yes, I have new hair. Um, I had to redo it for 2014 because I was sick and tired of being auburn or redhead and redhead slash for the last two and a half years. So if I did something different, this is how my hair is. Um, by the way, if you guys wanted to, <laughs> um, I do have a blog post on my hair that I posted last week. It's my whole hair story, so it has all these pictures from like when I was younger to now. And I also talk about why I ended up going red ombre. And you guys probably don't think this is red ombre, but it's actually a magenta on top. And then it goes down to like this um, dark, dark orange. And then, of course, my ends are orange. By the way, this isn't a hair dye. My hair, um, natural, like if you take off all, out all the pigment out of my hair, it's naturally like this golden rod orange color. So that I'm really happy. So I'm never going to have to like dye this part. Anyways, that's a whole different thing. I'm going to start talking about the essential oils. By the way, if you guys want me to do a video on how I got my hair and everything like that, I'd love to just leave a comment down below. But I do have the blog post. So if you want to know right now, go check out that blog post. I will link it down below. Anyways, let's start off. So basically, I want to show you guys how I use essential oils in the shower because a lot of people don't know how to do that. Um, they think you just have to pour, like kind of put a little bit of dots on your shower and then it'll start to go up, but actually um, I found a more effective way to kind of relax and stuff like that. So I use um, essential oils for aromatherapy purposes when I'm stressed out and stuff. So I have two to show you and let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is some of these bad boys. If you want, you can get a bigger one. I just ordered these off of Amazon. They're just four by, I don't know what they are actually, but they're just like square cotton, 100% cotton towels. Um, I bought a pack of 24 of them. I didn't realize I bought so many, but yeah, they're like this. They're kind of small, so if you guys want, go get ones that are a little bit bigger than this. Um, I know they, they're selling super cheap at Target and stuff. You don't need that many. I, I just wanted to get a pack of 24 because I also want to take off my masks and stuff with these too, so I decided to use them all together. But yes, yeah, so this is just a cotton pad, not a cotton pad, but like a 100% cotton like terry cloth type material. And what you want to do is you want to damp this and kind of just fold it in half. And then what the essential oils I usually use, if you guys want to just do the basics, is for um, during the night, If I'm, I'm usually a night shower, so I usually do this part. Um, this is the Lavender Essential Oil by Plant Therapy. It is a really nice, obviously, 100% lavender um, oil. And it smells so amazing, and I love to use this in the shower when I'm taking a shower at night. And then, of course, in the morning, like usually on weekdays, or not weekdays, on weekends, I take showers in the morning. So I will use um, a fragrance oil, the eucalyptus fragrance oil, but I do suggest getting the essential oil instead of the fragrance oil. Because sometimes um, the fragrance oil doesn't do, as, do it justice, but I'm just going to open it real quick. And the one thing I like about this fragrance oil is it comes with um, one of these little beakers. Beakers? Well, yeah, I guess you can call it a beaker. And it's just like that. And so what I would do is first you should damp your towel in just any type of water because you don't want to the shower anyways. Or you can do it in the shower. I just don't like to bring my essential oils into the shower with me because they have paper on them and it will get all wet and stuff. So And then you don't even need that much. That's the thing. So and especially if you want to mix, sometimes I will mix my lavender with my rosemary essential oil, but mostly just keep it lavender. And I just put like maybe two to four drops of this on the towel. That's all you need. It's so strong of a smell, you don't need that much. And then the same goes with this one. I'll probably put like a little bit, like maybe like uh, a, f a third of a beaker on to the towel. And then what you do, um, this is the reason why I said you should have um, a larger towel than this if you want, like a dish towel, is because you want to tie this actually around your neck or put it on your chest while, so you can breathe it in. But what I do, because um, for some reason I did get smaller ones, is I have it wet and then I kind of put it on my neck like this 
And then when it's damp, it usually sticks and doesn't usually fall. And if it does fall, it falls on your shoulders. But you just want to go like this, and it's the closest, obviously, to your nose. So you're actually breathing it in while you're taking a shower. And the steam also helps, you know, um, with uh, unclogging your pores and things like that. So this is actually really good as well for helping with your face because especially the eucalyptus it's so good for your face like when people do um, steams like you know how when you put your uh, a towel over your head and you put your face in a bowl of steaming water and you put some essential oils in it a lot of people use eucalyptus I use eucalyptus and um, it helps with um, cleaning out your pores as well so that's great that's why I kind of would rather have you guys buy essential oils if you guys don't have um, a eucalyptus essential oil get that instead of a fragrance oil because fragrance oil is just a fragrance it's not really anything you shouldn't be using this directly on your skin because it is a fragrance oil for like wax warmers and things like that but I just use it because I don't have an essential oils but again the lavender one is perfectly great to use this one by the way if you guys are wondering is from plant therapy 100% 100% pure essential oil. I got this off of Amazon, um, but I know that they have a website as well. So if you feel safe for buying it on the website, go ahead and do it. So that's kind of my tips and to kind of have more of a, a relaxing shower rather than thinking that you need to have a bath to relax. You can do it in the shower as well. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave comments down below or private message me. And... Yeah, by the way, I wanted to wish everyone a happy holidays. Anybody who celebrated Hanukkah, I celebrated Hanukkah. Anybody who uh, celebrated Kwanzaa or Christmas, um, I wanted to say happy holidays. I hope your holidays were amazing. And yeah, so that's all for this video. Um, again, links all will be down below. Also, I have a Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me there, go ahead. I love meeting new people. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye.